hi everyone so now we ran our like first spice so let's try to make a recipe now and see uh, how it works and then um, then after that like we will move to some more complex aut automations and like recipes so yeah, I'm just going to give, go ahead and uh, create the first recipe I'm just going to call it like demo recipe uh, let's walk through some buttons which are available here so here we have save recipe then add spices and save the recipe to run it so, uh, so this is like a run button and here you can manage all the lo global and local variables you already know about variables right and here like you can like undo changes and so reduce changes so if you, you have deleted something and then you want to go back you can do that with all these buttons and here you can provide like csv and google sheet so uh, let's say like you want to process uh, multiple rows or like maybe like a lot of data maybe 10,000 or 50,000 rows in the recipe you can do that using this option so when you click uh, save and then when you want you run it you can like click on this button before running it and provide the google sheet or like uh, csv you like the file and it will start running your recipe using the data that you are using the file that you have provided so I'm just going to go ahead and start the recipe just so the first thing we need to do is like start uh, choose a platform and select spice so um, in this like demo we will get a uh, Twitter profile followers of any like any company or any competitor and then find those people on LinkedIn so this is a kind of like good strategy to change or like com find your competitor uh, audience and convert them into your audience by like using some automations so here what we are going to do is like we, we will first extract all the followers of our competitor so profile followers and here we need to provide like auth token so I'm just going to go ahead and click on get cookie in profile URL I'm just going to type let's say Zapier so um, let me just find the URL Okay, copy done in the limits. So it, it can fetch almost like 20,000 or like 50,000 followers. But I'm just going going ahead and like just, just let's just type 10 for an example just to show the demo. And then, like, you can when you are running it, you can get up to 10,000 or maybe 50,000 uh, followers. But I'm just going to go ahead and like, like just type 10. So yeah, this is done now the next step is going to be like we will scrap like all the profile followers and then try to find those people on linkedin so linkedin url finder and then in the query i'm just going to like map the data that we receive in this will be shown here and then you can basically do the mapping so this is all you will get in twitter profile followers so blocked by profile url id name so i'm just going to like for finding profile uh, like url we need like name right so i'm just going to type the name and you can like give some more data as well so uh, maybe you can type location as well and description is there you can like give description as well yeah so uh, you can do all of that but i'm just going to give a go ahead and just type the name here just to check if this is working well and see we'll see how many profiles we get so yeah this is done uh, we don't need to like add anything else apart from here but uh, when you are like running more complex recipes here you can add delays and then you can add view profile you can add connection request you can add message sender as well but we will come back to those like complex recipes uh, in the upcoming videos so yeah, i'm just going to uh, save it and then click on run recipe let's see what we get connecting to twitter connected as my username scrapping followers scrap total 10, 10 followers searching for query 1 this is what you got query 2 this is the name of the follower this is his linkedin profile then 
so you you can see right it is like pulling all the followers and then finding the like finding the linkedin url uh, found this searching for tough find this url found this url recipe completed so let's see how many like LinkedIn URL we got uh, from the, those 10 followers. 3, 6, 10. Oh, so we got like almost all the like LinkedIn profile URLs of all the followers that we scrapped. So let's see if this one is like proper. This is marketing guy at this. And I'll go to tip here and see if he is the same guy manager uh, this marketing guy for co milk co and farms and food private limited bangalore marketing guy he also it says marketing guy that means like it seems to be like a same person who was like following Zapier and then we found the LinkedIn URL right so this is like really good right so if we do this whole process like manually it may take like maybe like two or three like hours or maybe even like days right depending on how many followers you want to like scrap and how many followers you want to find those people on LinkedIn so uh, you can this use this recipe uh, to make this easier and I'm sure that this will save you like hundreds of like hours uh, of manual time and um, yeah so recipe is just like hiring like VAs who are like performing some actions for you like performing some set of actions on web platform and then find doing some actions on link like another platform so this is what recipe does and you can set up more complex automations by adding a lot of things here so let's say once I have like profile URL find like all the profile URLs I will add view like a uh, connection request right so get cookie done and then in profile URL I'll just click on insert variable and then this is the LinkedIn URL that we will get from the previous spice right so I'm just going to map it and then in message I'm just going to like hi and you can like customize the message as well by like typing some uh, okay we don't have that but yeah you can like in like in message sender you can customize the message as well that you want to send using like the first name last name and all that which is like really good and here i'm just going to say hey hi this is vikesh and just and if you want to like if you want to make only second circle if you want to send connection request to only second circle you can make it like true or false right done so um, you can like add here some delays as well like say uh, two days so I'm just going to type day two here D done and then after two days I'll send a message link to message sender LIA message in message personalized message to be sent you can add some variables here like first name full name or last name so i'm just going to like go ahead with first name you type hi how are you doing that's it in profile url you can map again that like previous from the previous spice just map the like uh, queries that will be used in the next spice that is all is needed and you can do some follow-up message as well so let's say if user has not replied to you after some time like after two days you can just mention your two days and just add a message and like you don't need to like click on save just close it it will be done right so basically you can make like complex recipes as well using uh, this recipe builder which is super cool and this will save you like maybe hundreds of hours or maybe even days of like work uh, which is like very powerful and very very good right so yeah you can just go ahead and try recipe and see if you have any questions if you get stuck anywhere feel free to like just use our
chat box and send us a message we'll be happy to help you out yeah thank you for watching hope this was like very useful uh, if you don't understand any part just feel free to like drop a message and uh, we will we'll get on call and resolve everything for you yeah thank you